All right, today we are taking on a special project from the Kitchen Pantry Scientist book, Steam Lab for Kids. Liz Heineke is here this morning, and look, she brought a whole uh, gang with her. We've got Dr. <laughs> Jonathan Clemens from mouse.org. And then uh, Dr. Sarah Heineke. <laughs> You're not soon to be, Dr. Soon to be. Hopefully someday, yeah. right? Soon to be. It's great to have you guys here. <laughs> Jonathan, tell us about mouse.org. Sure. So, Mouse is a nonprofit organization. We develop uh, projects for schools, after school programs that teach science and technology. So, we try to make students. Uh, get creative with the science and technology learning process. Do something really engaging, something that's hands on. Um, it's so, right up your alley. I was going to say, oh it gosh, seems yeah, like you two would be friends. Ever. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, in this particular one, um, what we do is we take a little coin cell battery and we take an LED light. We make it light up. Where can, we, can you find these? I haven't seen these. Yeah, the LED lights. You can find them all over. I think I bought these on Amazon. Yeah. Um, but uh, you can probably find them at the Science Museum, places like that too. Um, yeah. They're pretty common. Um, and if you uh, take a little coin cell battery, it's got a positive side, negative side. We explain that to the students and how this works, where you have yeah, yeah electrons going from one side to the other. If you make it work. That's pretty you cool. Can. How many LEDs can you get around one of these batteries? Is that a challenge? I've seen yeah, students do at yeah. least a dozen, probably more. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they don't, they don't pull a lot of power, Liz. That's some of the appeal of these LED lights, right? right? And uh, Jonathan did a great job explaining in the book the science behind this, which is a basic circuit, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. do you want to quickly like explain that to our audience? Sure. So uh, the way a circuit works is it creates a circle of electrons that are flowing. And whatever is uh, in the middle of that will get power. So that's how a light bulb works. That's how LED light works. That's how people don't think about works. electrons as being just physical moving things. Yeah, and they're just moving around this path. It's like a running track for electrons. Pretty cool. And this is a great project for like little kids, but because it, it's super safe. But also teenagers. And I have to admit, like I even had fun making the. Cyclops. And so this is the paper right cups. There. Matt is doing yeah. great here. Very well, nice. you know, you said how many can we get on here? Wow. So I Challenge yeah, exactly. Nice. I got four so far. I think I can get five. All right. So uh, yeah. So what are you? What are this you is in the book, right? It's in Steam Lab this for Kids. This is in kids. Steam Lab for Kids, which is now available. Um, you, if you order it's it, it will come out. to you. It's All finally right. out. So Good. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, and Mouse contributed this project, and actually, a guy from your company wrote the um, introduction, which was. Yep. Fantastic. Yep, Mark, our uh, director of learning design, he's uh, one of the people that helps put all this stuff together. Um, wrote the introduction and. Um and there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. You, yeah. you made the Cyclops here, right? I made the Cyclops, yep. Uh, What's, Sarah, what are you working on over here? I'm just making a pencil holder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I like it. A light up pencil a light holder. Up light up pencil. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, so kids, like, no one is more creative than kids. And Mouse is doing such great work because they're getting into the schools and really giving kids um, the opportunity to get their hands on stuff. Because lots of times at school, kids don't have the time to, um, like, mess around and yes. be creative. They're just busy and they don't have a lot of. Um, funding, so it's really cool it's when programs cool program. like this can let kids get their hands into technology. All right, the yeah. answer, by the way, you can get four of these on there, and then the fifth just shut down. Oh, it shut it down. Oh, see? Four. There we Science go. Science experiment by Matt. That's Thank right. You. Very yeah. good. Thanks, guys. You can see more of Liz's experiments at kitchenpantryscientist.com. Just go to wccocom links, and we'll get you there.